Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and uh, let me see, I'm doing this on uh, Friday the 26th of January, and on Monday of this week, uh, I crashed my drone <laughs> and uh, put up some videos about it, and I have really uh, enjoyed all the comments, uh, arguments to and fro on what caused the accident. The, uh, the Bebop, the Parrot Bebop family is a wonderful group of folks and uh, I have really enjoyed the comments. I really don't know for sure what caused the uh, the accident, but uh, things like that happen, and uh, it happened to me. And uh, of course, if it would have happened a month earlier, uh, I probably would have been able to send the Bebop back because it would have still been under warranty. <laughs> but that's another one of those things that happens. I do want to thank everybody for the comments, though, and. Uh, if you have questions, anytime you have questions, uh, I welcome them uh, on any of my videos. I do want to thank, there was a couple of folks who volunteered to buy the parts for my for my uh, drone. And uh, that was, to me, unbelievable. But I appreciate it, and I was able to afford them myself. I ended up getting two motors. I don't think I needed them, but uh, I ended up getting two motors and a new X-Frame. And that's all I needed. Uh, fortunately, the... Uh, uh, the upper body uh, was just scratched, and then uh, one of the one of the clips that holds the battery on was broken. But uh, three out of four is good enough for me, and I think it'll be okay. So I appreciate the comments, and uh, I know the Free Flight Pro has two issues, and I might I think I made a video of another issue I discovered. But uh, it would be nice if uh, Parrot Kid could. Uh, uh, get that fixed so that it would run on our Android tablets. Runs great on my Android phone, uh, but uh, I like to use my tablet when I'm not flying FPV. So yeah, there are some issues with that. Uh, but Parrot, uh, their Bebop is by far, the you get the most for your money, uh, for everything that comes with it, uh, and uh, you can't compare it with any of, any of the other drones out on the market. And I know there's a lot of people that uh, they swear by other drones and that's okay but you get a lot more bells and whistles for the money with a uh, with a parrot bebop um, so uh, this is uh, a, a, what you call it a pre lit pre yeah we'll cut we'll get it right uh, this is the <laughs> the introductory introduction to uh, uh, I'm not trying to be funny it just happens that way this is the introduction to the test I made after I rebuilt the uh, the drone. So uh, uh, the, the interesting thing part is, is at my age, my hands shake a lot. And uh, the little tiny screws that, uh, <laughs> that are so small you can hardly pick them up with your fingers. Uh, I had a hard time uh, putting all the, the screws back together after I took it apart. You do, uh, I would recommend that you, especially if you're handy, is you can get them off of uh, Amazon, get a toolkit for the Bebop 2 because you're going to need it if you want to repair your own. And that's the nice thing. That's another thing about the Bebop is uh, you can repair it. And uh, some of them you can't. You have to send them back. So uh, I want to say one more thing about batteries. And we had all kinds of comments and everything. Um, but the Parrot charger that comes with the, with the, uh, with the Bebop 2 uh, it measures current while it's charging and uh, maybe I'll make a video on the difference but uh, a balanced charger like uh, what I have uh, measures voltage to see what the voltage level is as it's charging and if one of the cells isn't charged up it'll keep running until that in the in the balanced uh, charging uh, mode it'll keep charging until that cell gets charged all the way up and uh, that it, it may be the you know one of the cells charges up really fast and uh, the thing I've found it is uh, in my experience if a if a cell takes a long time to charge it takes a long time to discharge so that's one of your better cells if one gets charged up right away it'll discharge right away and so uh, anyway that there's a difference between the charger that comes with the Bebop and uh, I ruined my first battery because I didn't even think about it that uh, that that battery was a lipo and uh, needed to be cared for a little better. So the the one that was flying the drone that day 
was the very first battery I had, and I ruined it, but I was able to get it uh, get it repaired enough to fly little short flights and so forth, and that's what I was using it when it crashed. So I lost my very first battery, but uh, in March of uh, 2017, uh, I purchased a 3100 milliamp battery, and uh, I'll put a link to where I got it. I got it off of uh, Amazon, and uh, it still acts like a, a a brand new battery because by the time I bought that I had a balanced charger and uh, the, a balanced charger just will make your battery last a long time so anyway uh, with that said I'm gonna go ahead and get the video started and you can see me <laughs> really interesting you can see me testing my my bebop and uh, once again thank you for all your comments and uh, let's take a look at the video all right I've got it put together the only sign of damage is right there. I had to replace the X-frame and I replaced the rear two motors because um, I wasn't sure whether they were hurt or not because it landed on those. So we're going to give it a try here. Now this is the first time I've flown it since I replaced everything. It's kind of like a test flight and uh, it's kind of like when I rebuilt the engine in my full-size plane and in that situation I was sitting in the plane. Fortunately this time I can sit outside the flying device. So here we go. Turn it on the sky controller. And we're going to pick Free Flight Pro. Okay. Looks like it might be ready to go. So we're going to hit the takeoff, but we don't know what's going to happen. Here we go. Doing fine. Yep. Okay, we're going to turn it around. We'll go left. Okay. We know we can go up and down. So now we'll see if we can go right. And if we can go left. Okay, now we'll turn it around again. Bring her down, bring her forward. I need to set up my uh, <laughs> rotation speed. We'll come in here, we'll land. Okay, so we know that works. Now we're going to take the Bebop out here. <clears throat> I'm turn off the sky controller. And we're going to exit out of here. Okay, we're going to turn on the sky controller again. AR Pro 3. We'll see if we get a green screen. I don't want that green screen. Well, we don't have the green screen. That's good. Okay, we're going to stand back over here and 
take it off. So here we go. Maybe we'll stand out here. Because this guy likes to have good connection with the, with the uh, sky controller. So here we go. Well, that's working okay. I think we're okay. I think we'll just bring it in. And land it. So it looks like it's gonna fly, but I'll take it to the park to, uh, to take it up very high. So there we go, we got it. And I'm a blessed man.